As we mentioned in an earlier segment, technology keeps changing. With the introduction of extended life coolants, new maintenance procedures are now required to solve a major problem that's not identified in manuals or antifreeze instructions. That problem can be summed up in one word, contamination. Today, contamination is the major cause of cooling system failure, and it's not just a problem with older cars. Contamination can be a problem even before the first recommended coolant flush is required. With different metals like iron, copper, and aluminum in the same system, and an increasing number of antifreeze formulations, cooling system chemistry has become very complex and poorly understood, even by original equipment manufacturers. Recently, the practice of topping off coolant has been associated with cooling system contamination. According to Valvoline, maker of Xerox antifreeze products, it is important to top off with the same type of coolant that has been properly diluted to 50%. Corrosion inhibitors are formulated to be used at 50%, so topping off straight coolant can overdose the system. On the other hand, topping off with just water can also have harmful effects on the cooling system. How can you be sure that you're using the same type of coolant that's already in the system? You can only guess. Color is no guarantee as different chemistries use the same color and similar chemistries use different colors. Universal coolants, which use proprietary OAT-based corrosion packages, claim they can be mixed with all color coolants, even traditional green coolant. But on the back of the package, many say for best results, drain, flush, and fill rather than just top off the system. That should be a red flag for technicians. In reality, anything less than best results is a maintenance shortcut that can only lead to component damage. For example, if only the radiator is drained when replacing a water pump, up to a third of the old coolant can remain in the engine block. When the engine is restarted, old coolant mixes with new coolant and degrades the corrosion inhibitors whose job it is to quickly protect exposed metal on new components, like the water pump. Also, coolant contamination related to the practice of topping off can clog radiators and heater cores. Coolant contamination is also caused by neglected maintenance. All coolants and corrosion inhibitors break down over time, which allows chemical reactions in the system that lead to formation of rust and scale. With persistent heat, glycol becomes slightly acidic. Depleted corrosion inhibitors then allow rust to form on the interior walls of the engine block. Scale can form from minerals and tap water that is routinely mixed with coolant instead of the recommended distilled or deionized water. Always use distilled or deionized water to prevent mineral and scale buildup. Scale and rust can build up in the system and cause overheating by decreasing the direct contact the coolant needs with the hot engine block and clogging the radiator and heater core. As coolant pH changes and corrosion inhibitors wear out, galvanic corrosion can quickly damage metal components in the system, especially aluminum radiators and heater cores. Galvanic corrosion, what some call electrolysis, occurs when a conductive electrolyte, like coolant, connects metals of different types, like iron, copper, and aluminum. Normally, corrosion inhibitors in new coolant coat the metal parts and insulate them electrically. When depleted, however, unprotected parts like the thin aluminum tubes in radiators or heater cores lose metallic ions into the electrically conductive coolant. Aluminum is extremely reactive when unprotected in this environment. Worn coolant can also lead to cavitation damage to water pump impellers and cylinder walls in the engine. Cavitation occurs when the liquid is subjected to a rapid change in pressure that can cause low pressure bubbles to form. Cavitation can create pitting of the metal which damages water pumps. Here's an example. Notice how cavitation has eaten away the metal around the impeller. Damage to cylinder walls can eventually let coolant leak into the cylinder and force combustion gas into the coolant. That will be an expensive repair for sure. When a system has been neglected, or when topping off results in system contamination, new flushing procedures are needed to remove rust, scale, and other solids before they damage water pump seals. Many new water pump warranties, in fact, require a system flush before installation. Yet 95% of water pump warranty claims submitted by service dealers indicate that no flush was completed before installing a new pump. Most service dealers use a garden hose or closed loop flush machine. For clean systems with no contamination, that's fine. But for neglected or contaminated systems, 
A garden hose flush or a closed loop flush machine does not remove enough contaminants in the system to prevent premature water pump failure. Plus, exchangers cannot isolate the heater core, the radiator, or the engine block where much of the contamination is caught. For contaminated systems, we recommend using the Power Clean Flush Tool every time a water pump is replaced or the system is open for repairs. This new tool safely cleans each component by the water's pulsating wave action. The regulator maintains a constant 28 PSI, which eliminates any possible damage to the internal fins of the heater core and radiator. Adapters are designed to make it easy to isolate the heater core, radiator, and engine block and clean them separately, which is the recommended procedure. To demonstrate effectiveness of the new tool, a garden hose flush was first used on this neglected system, since that is the procedure used by most technicians. Each component was flushed for two to three minutes, and then the contaminants were collected. After straining through a white filter, here are the contaminants that the garden hose flushed from the radiator, heater core, and engine block. We then connected the Power Clean flush tool and flushed each component again. Here's what this new tool removed that the garden hose could not. Since closed loop flush machines cannot isolate components, the amount of embedded contamination left in neglected systems would be even greater. A complete demonstration of the new Power Clean flush tool is available at GatesAftermarketTrainingCenter.com. As we've seen, damage from neglected cooling systems can be costly. A clean system, on the other hand, ensures proper engine cooling, quick warm-ups, better gas mileage, and longer-lasting cooling system components. That increases customer confidence in the shop and reduces comebacks. Here's what you need to know about water pump installation.